Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Dylan Bowman after his third place finish at the 2014 Western States 100. Dylan, your seventh hundred, your third Western States, you nailed it. Yeah, it was really a special day and I'm really happy about it overall. Still see some room for improvement, but like I said, I mean, I'm really happy and most of all, I'm just excited I was able to finish strong and, uh, and remain um, competitive during the final stages. That really was your goal. I mean, you were talking about that just casually for months. Mm -hmm. that You'd come in and run these Western States twice and really struggle at the end both times mm -hmm. from pushing hard. Mm -hmm. um, do you think it was just a change in race day approach or did you also change your training to allow you to push toward the end? Yeah, no question. My training has, has been a lot different. I think it more so though is a mental thing. Um, and I ran a, a much smarter race. Overall, you know, I didn't feel great at all really <laughs> the whole day, but I stayed within myself. You mm -hmm. know, and when I felt like I was uh, going at a pace that was not sustainable or where I was losing consistency, I backed off. And then I was able to replenish myself, gain momentum again, and I just sort of practiced that the whole day. Um, and the result was I was still mentally coherent and strong um, in the last 15, 20 miles when it really counts. And that's really the place I was focusing on um, in my entire lead up. So to be able to execute there, it's really, really fulfilling. Was there any point where you're able to say, not just, all right, I'm going to run strong to the finish, but like, it's go time. I can push. Not yeah. To survive. Yeah, definitely. So we were getting reports that um, Max was fading. And I, I made up close to 10 minutes on him between ALT and Brown's Bar. And when we got to Brown's Bar, Hal told me that Max had just left. Um, so at that point, you know, the competitive instinct kicks in and you're starting to think about hitting the podium. And then I didn't see Max for a long time. Um, and it took several more miles for me to actually get within striking distance. And, when I did, I was with my, my pacer, Alex Tiernan, and Max didn't have a pacer, and I said, all right, let's go. And we just hit the gas and flew past him, and I charged as hard as I could down to no hands and beyond, um, and I was able to get enough of a cushion to, to hang on over the last couple miles. How do you gauge that? Because obviously Max has speed, fishing speed. Maybe he's going through a low, spat, low patch and can push it again later. Like, how do you gauge just pushing it to the finish do you, are you trying to build a gap a cushion or are you what's the strategy well, definitely like? and uh you know it was more so gauging what he looked like uh when i passed him and he didn't hang on he didn't give chase uh, so that gave me a little bit of an indication that he was probably fairly toast <laughs> um but um you know obviously you can't count a guy like him out mm -hmm. so particularly with uh the you know faster section between no hands and that final climb and then obviously the road you know the last thing i would want is max to kick me down on the track um that went through your head didn't it it definitely did i mean i was looking over my shoulder the whole way um so i'm just really really happy i was able to find that extra level of competitiveness and hang on at the end you weren't just floating along all day i saw you at the river and you didn't look particularly <laughs> hot uh were there any particularly low points i i ran a pretty poor cal street again I'd be interested to see my my splits um but it wasn't great and uh you know i've got to figure out why that is and, and i think most of it was the fact that i let myself get behind on calories and hydration there and, um I actually brought two bottles with me through Forest Hill and then dropped one before I hit Cal Street. And then what was happening was I was drinking my whole bottle 10 minutes outside of each aid station mm -hmm. and then having to go 20, 30 minutes without fuel or hydration. So I can definitely improve that section. Um, but like I said, you know, I was just really consistent all day. Didn't feel particularly awesome anywhere and didn't feel terrible anywhere either. So. Um, overall, it was a really, really solid, consistent day. You, re you ran a great time there uh, yesterday, um, but you think there's room for improvement. Huh. With a race like this under your belt, what kind of, what does this give you confidence that you think you can run? 
on a you know a not decent weather oh, day. Gosh. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to put a number on it. But you know, I think I can definitely run faster here. I don't think I could run a sub 15. I mean, Rob's race it just boggles my mind. And I mean, he put 20 minutes on me or something on Cal Street. It wasn't like I was walking. And when I got that report, it was like, how is that even even possible? So. Um, you know, there's little little things I can change. Feeling better on Cal Street, probably taking two bottles there. I think I could probably cut five or ten more minutes off there. Um, but you know, I, I'm not going to nitpick it too much. It was a good race. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations, Dylan. Thanks. Great job finally getting on the podium in the Western that. States. Yeah. Uh, any? Well, before we go, any? Uh, what's next on the calendar? Anything? coming up this summer? Well, you know, I definitely feel the need to take a nice long break after this one. Ever since I blew my ankle out last year and got healthy again, I've been racing and training really, really hard. This is my sixth ultra in seven months. Um, so I'm going to take some time off. I might go run Gary Robbins race in Squamish. Um, I think the next real goal will probably be North Face 50 in December. Um, so maybe something else in between but we'll yeah. see I'm gonna enjoy this enjoy it see you around yeah looks like you good let's do it all right Brian Powell of I run far here with Dylan Bowman after his I gotta start over you were third weren't you I was third yeah I'm sleep deprived <laughs> <laughs> collect yourself Powell <laughs> finish hard you need some hydration <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>